Miriam has been in Tijuana with her daughters for a couple of days. The journey from Honduras has been long and difficult. Their goal is almost within reach, the US border. They don't want to stay in Mexico for long. The authorities here have little to offer them. They're making no effort to provide food. To be honest, the food they're giving us is awful. Look here. Beans that you would only give to pigs. But we have to eat it because otherwise we'll die of hunger. They'll sleep on the floor again tonight in the city stadium, which the local authorities have provided as a makeshift shelter. They've been overwhelmed by the migrants, who've come in greater numbers than expected. Mario Asuna, who manages the improvised shelter, says they're dependent on government support. In Tijuana, we were simply not prepared for this. We have no contingency funds. We rely on the federal government for that. We can set up shelters out back, in the fields, and provide assistance. But a lot of federal support is needed for us to help the people who are already here and will still arrive. They need as much as $4 million, according to the spokesman for the State Human Rights Commission. He admits that the city is currently unprepared for the impending arrival of more migrants. There's not enough staff to receive all those who will arrive. And that is why we have been putting pressure on the government. An application for about 80 million pesos was submitted to the federal government. That's how much the local government estimates will be needed for the migrants. Some locals have been dreading the arrival of the Central Americans, fearing chaos and costs. In some neighborhoods, people have even organized protests against them. They have to relieve themselves. Where will they do it? There is no capacity at the sports facility. There aren't enough restaurants for that many people. We've given them a place to sleep, drinks and food. But then in the news we see that they are ungrateful. The truth is disappointing. I was just starting my motorbike when a boy insulted me. We almost got into a fight because he offended me. Increasing tensions have led local authorities to impose tough security rules. The migrants are not allowed to enter or leave the stadium after 10 at night.